show. 2024 Mustang reveal. This will be the seventh generation. I've got a lot of exciting news for the 2024 Mustang. Alright guys, this is a new 2024 Mustang GT in convertible. It looks like to be ruby red. They've redesigned the front fascia. It looks a lot more wider and the front grille seems to be a little bit more inched out. Um, gloss back piano finish. Uh, this one is matte black. They have a nice hood instructor as well over there right here. The headlight design kind of looks similar to the 15 and 17. Um, they have taken examples from the Mach-E. So you got three ones right here. Let me get up close to it. One, two, three, and they're probably going to be sequential, kind of like the Mustang Mod E. We're going to just side profile of the 2024 Mustang GT. You've got these 255 tires that are Pirelli, it seems like, and 275 at the back. I have to say I really like the wheel design on this Mustang. This reminds me of the Mach 1 handling pack wheels. They look very aggressive. It seems like the chin spar on this Mustang GT isn't as aggressive as the ones we have seen on the S550 Mustang GTs. As you can see from this side shot, it barely sticks out further than the body. This one looks very similar to the pre-refresh S550 Mustang. Side profile looks very similar to this S550 Mustang, which is something I've pointed out in my earlier videos as well. The side profile we see, we have the familiar 5.0 badge. This, this time around, it's the Gen 4 Coyote motor with the 480 plus horsepower. I'm moving into the rear of the new 2024 Mustang GT. We've got a different taillight design. They don't want to stick as much. And finally, we don't have the blacked out deck that it's painted, painted match now. Quad exhaust. This is the GT is a quad exhaust is standard right here. Um, of course, the taillights are going to be sequential. The deck lid on the S650 Mustang has a nice angular shape to it that also carries to the taillights. While the taillights are flat themselves with no depth, the lines have a sharp curve to them which makes it look very aggressive. One thing I did notice in the rear end of the S650 Mustang GT is that the rear bumper has this flat black that seems to stick out much further than the body itself. Not sure if this is a thing for only base models, but this seems to be a premium model with those massive screens in the interior which we will take a look at in a little bit. I was driving to the interior of the 2024 Mustang. I locked it now. And here we find the flat bottom steering wheel here. This is a manual transmission. We don't know if this is going to get the Tremec or not. The main highlight of the interior is obviously a 12 inch digital dash that is completely redesigned, stretches all the way for the center console. Uh, otherwise, the interior looks relatively similar to the S550 Mustang. You've got the same leather seats, uh, even the door panels over there look exactly the same as the S550 Mustang. And here we can see the auto start stop, which was slightly concerning for me. Um, we have footage with it as well. I think overall Ford did a great job with the interior as we have two massive screens that are fully customizable and it even has a classic mode which does a throwback to the Fox Body cluster. The vents are inspired by the Fox Body Mustang as well. I'm kind of upset that we lose the toggle switches, but I think overall the interior is a massive step up from the S550 Mustang. That's all I've got for the quick look at the all new 2024 S650 Mustang GT. I have more detailed videos coming up on all the 2024 S650 Mustangs and I got to see them up close so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the future videos. If you did enjoy this quick tour of the S650 Mustang GT, make sure you smash that like button, comment below on your thoughts on the S650 Mustang, and of course subscribe to Red 5.0 for more Mustang content.